This is the new AES Smart Application. This application has been developed with current and future AES Global IP products in mind, specifically the Praetorian Guard Video Intercom. The Smart App provides a new improved user interface that has been developed to give you the best app performance. In this video we will show you how to pair the Praetorian Guard to the Smart Application. Firstly we need to download the Smart App from either the Android Play Store or the Apple Store. Once we have the application downloaded and opened, you need to create an account. You will be sent an email confirming your account and a link to activate it. The account needs to be activated within 24 hours of receiving that email. There are two methods to connecting the Praetorian Guard to the internet, via a Wi-Fi connection or by using a LAN or Ethernet cable. I'll show you both methods now, firstly through Wi-Fi. Once we have the Smart App downloaded and opened, we can add device here and we can choose Intercom. You can enter a reference name for a particular intercom, such as Frontgate Intercom, or whatever suits your site. This is an option as some users have multiple intercoms connected to the one app. The intercom ID can be found inside the unit near the LAN port. It will begin with AES, followed by a series of letters and numbers. The username is defaulted to admin. This can be changed later in settings, as will your password, which is 139. Once you have entered the correct details, you have the option to connect the unit to the internet via a LAN cable or Wi-Fi. We're going to choose Wi-Fi here and click Next. And now a dialog box asks if the device has already been connected to the internet. This part of the process is for when you're adding additional users only. As this is the initial setup, then the answer is no. Now we're going to open up a Praetorian Guard unit to access the hotspot button. And we'll press and hold this until we hear a tone. This means that the unit has created a temporary Wi-Fi network. Using your phone's Wi-Fi, you can search for this network and connect to it. The name of the hotspot will match the ID intercom. If you are prompted for a password for this, it is 139. Once your phone is connected to the hotspot, you now need to go back to the Smart App and click Next. Now the app will scan for available Wi-Fi networks that it can detect to. Once you have found the network that you want to connect to, you'll have to enter the password for it and connect. Now the intercom will take a few moments to complete the connection to that network. Once it has been connected, you are free to test the device and app. Method 2 to connect your Praetorian Guard to the internet is via the LAN port and is a very easy process. Firstly, make sure to note the intercom ID located just below where the LAN port is on the board here. Then connect your Ethernet cable into the LAN port. Open the Smart App and follow the process as follows. Firstly, we're going to add device. Then select the intercom. From here you can enter your device name, intercom ID, username and password. So the intercom ID is on the board, which we've already noted. The default username is admin and the default password is 139. Again, you can change these later in the settings for your security. I hit next. Now we have the option to set up the device using the LAN cable or connect using Wi-Fi. We're already connecting through the LAN cable, so we're going to hit yes. It reminds you here to check that the device is connected to a LAN cable and a working port. We'll click done and we are online. We've got live view. So now we're connected, we're going to check a few different settings and set a few things. Here we have the little cog symbol. And we're going to look for settings and we'll see that the firmware version, the firmware version is the latest version. Uh, we are going to check the time zone settings and we can just use the last option here, which is use the phone time. And there it comes up with success. Now we're going to add a keypad code. We have three different types here. Um, we'll just choose a 24 7 one. 
we'll click add uh, we can give this a reference name the reference name then will be used for the logs later so i'll put in my name michael we want it for relay one we want it to trigger relay one for one second and we'll stick in here 2024 for the actual code it can be a four or a six digit and we'll hit save there we go and we can go back to the home page and for the test of this we're just going to close down all apps check keypad code first and then we'll check the call button One, two, one, two. Both relays working. Relay one latched. So that's the Praetorian Guard basic programming and setup complete. As ever, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below.